everyone, welcome to Sozo Talk Show. I am your host, Den Shiko, and as usual, this platform is designed to inspire, entertain, and educate you out there through the stories we get. Now, today, we are delighted and happy to have one guest who's gone through an ectopic pregnancy. She'll tell us all through her story and what God did for her. Her name is Mary Maina. She's telling me she has a lot she does. So I want her to introduce herself and tell us what she does and tell us your name. Karibu. Asante sana. Mm -hmm. I'm Mary Maina. A mother of one. Uh -huh. A wife of one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was raised and brought up in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Went to school in Nairobi, Kasarani. Uh -huh. And went to high school in Meru. Mm -hmm. Went to college, but I didn't finish. Mm -hmm. And right now, I do makeup and other businesses like I sell utensils. Yeah. And do this like you are all over. You're a makeup artist. Yes. You sell utensils. You have a shop or something? No, I do it online. Online. So utensils, just utensils. Utensils. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just utensils. Huh? Utensils. Like but classic stuff. ones. Oh, <laughs> classic ones. <laughs> they have ones. to know that point. <laughs> yeah. Eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So tell us about your family. Where were you born? Like, how many were you in your family? I'm born in a family of three. Family of three. I'm the second born. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a, the rest are brothers. The rest are sisters. I, I have a first born is a brother, mm -hmm. and I'm the second born, mm -hmm. and that born is a sister. Mm -hmm. But we don't live together right now because I'm married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how long have you been married? I've been married for the past six years. Mm -hmm. Blessed you... with one child, one mm -hmm. beautiful daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, that is nice. Now tell us about, uh, before we go to your story, before we go to your story, did you want to get pregnant or uh, it just came? First child. The no, child. the second child. The second child. Mm. Mm. I was planning to be pregnant this year, 2021. Mm -hmm. But December, last year, December, mm. I found myself that I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I was not planning for it at that time. Mm -hmm. And I found myself that I was pregnant. Mm. So, sick with butter, just, just normally. Mm. I went to the hospital because I was sick. Mm. And when I was sick, mm -hmm. I thought I had an infection. You know, women and abdominal infections. Mm -hmm. And Kupimwa, mm -hmm. uh, the doctor told me zero infection, but mm -hmm. I was pregnant. Ah, something I couldn't expect. Something that I was not expecting. Mm -hmm. And I'm there. I I, I, I called my husband. I mm -hmm. tell him that I'm pregnant, mm -hmm. and he was happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that I'm expecting a child, because. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa na jambia by next year, mm -hmm. by the now 2021, because mm -hmm. that was 2020, mm -hmm. nilikuwa na plan kupata mtoto. And mm -hmm. then December now, nimepata niko na ball. So I was yeah. happy about it. Yeah, sure. Because you make a matter before you, uh, yes. the time you want. Yes. Yeah? So what was your husband's take about it? He was happy? He was happy, very mm -hmm. happy. And mm -hmm. he told me that we are together on this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nasasa, why did you decide to go to go to hospital? Was there pain? Was there pain in your abdomen? happen? First of all, mm. I got sick on on a Sunday. Mm. That night I didn't sleep. Nilikuwa mm naskia -hmm. with chungu extra pain. First Sunday, first week, donianze kuumwa, donianze kuskia nikona pain. Nikaumwa, nikaumwa, nikaumwa. I, I took some painkillers. I went to the host. I went to work. Ni move. Ni kuna place ni lupa ni ndanga job. Mm -hmm. So ni kenda job. Ni ni kanga ni kosa wa pain ni kaisha. And wala mm -hmm. mama ni lipasha. They told me, enda mm -hmm. hosi. Ukitoka pa enda hosi. Uangaliwe maybe ukona infection. Mi ni kasi ma juu chungu meisha. Wacha ni nde home. I went home. Nikaka one week siumui. Mm -hmm. You see the first week nilikunywa, the first Sunday nimesha kunywa painkillers. Yeah. So nikenda home, nikakuwa sawa that week, and then the second Sunday, the pain was too much. I couldn't be, even bear it. 
it was too much singeza kutembea singeza kuamka and my husband he was supposed to go to work mm -hmm. so i told him fanya hivi enda hapo kwa shop tuma huo msichana wa duka anilete dawa mm. na at least vitu zenye tumezahitaji na mtoto cause uh, ni sisi tu kilikuwa kwa nyumba mm. it was on a sunday mm. so ako kasichana kaka niletea dawa mm -hmm. na vitu zenye tuko tunahitaji mm. i took the medicine but uchungu haikuisha at mm. all at all and this time hauko najua uko na ball siko najua at all okay. at all siko najua kama niko na ball mm -hmm. so my daughter is there and i'm the mom tutenda hosi nikupeleke hosi mm. and i'm waambia mom nitakuwa sawa mm. i can't stand and tuko tu na mtoto wangu mm -hmm. i called the lady mwenye alikuwa ameniandika job mm -hmm. nikamwambia tu kama anaweza nitumania motorbike mm -hmm. jumi siko na means ya any nini anything akaniambia ni sawa akakuja mm -hmm. akakuja kwangu akaniteremsha akaacha nimepanda motorbike mm -hmm. ikanileta hadi hii clean hii hosi inaitwa medwin Mhm iko karibu na home eh? iko karibu na home mm. so by the time and akaniambia nitakukalia na mtoto kwa sababu home hakuna mtu anaweza kukalia na mtoto mm. so nika anaitwa mama abi mm -hmm. and alinisaidia sana by the way so mm. nika nikakuja hosi nikaangaliwa me I told them first of all me uchungu nasikia it was too much kwanza muni induce nini pain killers mm -hmm while in induced pain killers by the pain mm -hmm. ilikuwa inaongezeka ah yes uh -huh. so uh -huh. wakaniambia now what you're going to do tutapima pregnancy uh -huh. na uh, na infection uh -huh. me i told them i'm so sure i'm nataka tu kunikula pesa yangu mimi sina ball <laughs> yes uliwaambia hivyo niliwaambia hivyo so uh -huh. wananiambia sisi ni madaktari and we know venye tunafaa kufanya so yeah. wacha tukupime mimba mm. na na infection mm -hmm. so they did it. infection zero mm -hmm. results eh mm -hmm. infection <laughs> the results was infection zero uh -huh. uh, pregnancy positive oh no sasa mm. kwanza nilicheka tu na hiyo uchungu kwa sababu mm. i didn't imagine mm ningepata bola aje at that time and i was not prepared yeah 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 so now you realized you were pregnant and you called your husband and i called my husband for the good news for the bless of the pain yes i told him i'm pregnant mm -hmm. we are expecting a new a new baby mm -hmm. and he was happy about it na akaniambia sasa sasa umeambiwa hiyo pain utafanya nini mm -hmm. nao nikamwambia ni unaongozea kufanywa scan mm -hmm. waone venye wanaweza nisaidia hiyo mm -hmm. pain iishe wow mm -hmm. wow now we've come to our first break the next break after the break we are coming with her story now how she learned it was ectopic what happened after that until now they had to get a read of it so don't go anywhere we're coming back today we are streaming live from gs hotel located along vika road on your way to juja and from juja just opposite juja preparatory which is a nice hotel we have accommodation they have a restaurant boardrooms and even conference rooms so welcome and don't go anywhere we are ready to entertain you today Welcome back. We are about to know now after the scans, after the so many scans she did at the dispensary, how she came to know that it was ectopic pregnancy. So don't go anywhere. You you now you broke the news to your husband that you're pregnant. Yeah, I uh -huh. told him that I'm pregnant and mm -hmm. he was very happy about it. Mm -hmm. Cuz nilikuwa hata mimi mwenyewe nilifurahia kwa sababu I knew mm -hmm. now Mm -hmm. uh, nilikuwa na plan next year January I'll be pregnant mm -hmm. now imekuja one month in advance uh -huh. yeah so mm -hmm. I was happy about it he was happy about it mm -hmm. akaniambia guy ni sawa hata ni it's okay mm -hmm. akani yani alifurahia mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. sadly mm -hmm. namwambia 
Mm-hmm. Uh, not even sadly kwa sababu sikuwa nimeenda any scan ati nikaambua ni nini mbaya. Yeah. The doctor called me akaniambia mm-hmm. that doctor he was very nice to me. Mm-hmm. Akaniambia now Mary mm-hmm. if the pregnancy inauma mm-hmm. kuna kuangana shida. Yes, he told me that. He told me that after you calling your husband. After me calling my husband and breaking the news. Mm-hmm. No, he told me he told me that if the pregnancy is not attached to the uterus, there must be a problem na ndo maana inauma. It might be attached kwa side ya uterus, mm-hmm. or ikuwe kwa fallopian tube. Mimi hata sikuwa na concentrate na venye nilikuwa nasema cuz I was very happy about oh, it. I know. So mm-hmm. akaniambia akaniambia akanielezea vizuri mm-hmm. akaniambia and cause lazima tujue shida mm-hmm. do this. Ah uh, nitakutuma kwa wanaita ngo sinographer au oh, uh, nini wa scan. Uende mm-hmm. upigwe scan. Mm-hmm alafu tujue shida iko wapi ama hii pregnancy iko attached kwa kwa uterus ama iko wapi i went nika nikafanywa scan mhm iko inaonekana so in a different hospital the same hospital oh the same hospital the same hospital mm-hmm. no nika nikashindwa i was the problem kwa sababu ionekani but naambiwa kuna pregnancy cuz mm-hmm. lazima iko ilikuwa in 2 months ilikuwa 6 weeks to 2 months mm-hmm. lazima ikuwe hapo mm-hmm. so nika na pigwa scan inarudiwa nilika tu scan ikirudiwa inarudiwa inarudiwa but haiko inapatikana mm-hmm. kumbe the, the doctor he didn't tell me that it was ectopic mm-hmm. yeye alijua ni ectopic hakuniambia ni ectopic mm-hmm. alafu sasa uh, akaniambia mm-hmm. is can you do vizuri let's do this uh uwezi nikamwambia akaniambia what you're going to do mm-hmm. utatafuta hosi kubwa mm-hmm. yenye unaweza admit that was a dispensary it was a it was a clinic kind of mm-hmm. it is a clinic mm-hmm unafaa kwenda kutafuta hosi yenye unaweza lazwa uh-huh. and i told him mm-hmm. Wacha niende kesho asubuhi ni nira uke kesho morning niende. Mm. Mm. He, he told me no 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 you're not going home. Ah you're not going home my dear. What? Yes you're mm-hmm. not going home. Mm. Ukienda home it is very dangerous for you. Ah now me I didn't know what's the problem. Mhm. Uh-huh. Uh, so me I told my husband I called my husband. Mhm. Akanitumia Uber. Akunitumia Uber. Nika mimi nilimwambia tu aniandikie huyo daktari aniandikie referral ya Dika. Mhm. Oh he told you to choose the hospital. Yes. Now mm. my husband was working in Dika. So mm. nilijua it is easier for him to mm. come yeah. than pala pa, pa, pengine. Yeah. So I went to Dika. Akanitumia uba nikaenda Dika. Mhm. Kwenda Dika mm. uh, you start from zero again now uh, again regardless of the many tests you don't yes mm-hmm. zero mm. now I was told niende uh, pregnancy test and that was a blood test first of all it was not urine mm-hmm. test yeah mm-hmm. it was blood test mm-hmm. and ndo angalie kama kuna infection ndo inafanya ni umwa ama ni pregnancy this and and I went to scan nikafanywa hizo zote at that time niko na uchungu hmm. niko na uchungu zile pinkina sudi ndio sikuwa zinafanya kazi hmm. yes mm-hmm. so mimi nika nikakaa hosi nika, nikaenda nikifanywa tu hizo test zote nikifanywa hizo test zote mm. and now kwa sababu i had told my husband and alikuwa anakuja he was coming at that time junisha fika hosi yeah min kasema no my 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 family my mother in law knows that i'm sick mm. but my family they don't know if i'm sick okay i decided to call my mom mm-hmm. and i told her that nikom sick i'm sick mm. and i'm in the hospital yeah. and mark you at that time ilikuwa saa moja at night ah yes mm-hmm. at night mm-hmm. so nikamwambia i'm sick na nikama nitaadmitiwa hospital mm-hmm. oh, at that time my mother told me 
Uko hosi wapi? Nini nini nini? Within 30 minutes my mom was there and my dad. Wow. Mhm. They came. My mom ni mshab shab. Akafanya sasa mambo akakuwa anafanya her own way. Eh. Can whatever and so on. Nikafanywa at that time. And at that time doctor wana niuliza cuz I was not bleeding out. Mhm. I was bleeding internally. Mm-hmm. So the pregnancy was causing you to bleed. Yes, but internally. Internally. Naumwa na huko mabega kifua inaniuma at that time. Mm-hmm. I couldn't walk upright. Nilikuwa naenda nimejishikilia hivi because of the pain. Because of the pain. Mm-hmm. I tell you the pain was too much even till to date. Mm-hmm. I will not even wish my worst enemy the same pain the same pain mm-hmm. labor pain is better oh no yes mm-hmm. so now m- my mom came she mm-hmm. did her own thing nikashughulikiwa the doctor say that it's an emergency case and the doctor that i found there mm-hmm. he, he, he was asking me you know sasa kasichana sasa sitaki kukuweka ska we must we must do it again and again and again and to I, confirm to confirm if uh-huh. it was it, and first of all it ilikuwa ime rupture the reason as to why it is bleeding oh. ilikuwa isha rupture uh-huh. how old was the pregnancy wanasema nga ina rupture within 6 weeks uh-huh. ama 2 months okay 8 8 weeks uh-huh. so nika wewe daktari alikuwa ananiambia Sasa sitaki kukufanyia CS, sitaki kukuweka ska. Mtoto wako kwanza ulipata aje? Ninamwambia nilipata normal. Sitaki kukuweka ska and that doctor was very nice. Mm-hmm. At the moment and now he, he nikaenda nikafanywa scan a lot many times. Many times. Mhm. Scan zingine mbaya mbaya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> zingine hata siwezi zitaja. Mhm. <laughs> so Mm. Nika, at that time I'm still in pain mm. wananiweka tu maji walikuwa wananiweka tu maji mm-hmm. yeah mm. so nika nikaenda nika huyo nika, daktari akasema it's an emergency case mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. i must go to theater oh no and my husband mm-hmm. i saw my husband even ni kama hata alikuwa confused mm. that's the time that you realize mm. people love you mm-hmm. My dad was there praying. Mm-hmm. My mom was there rubbing my back. Mm-hmm. And my husband was there. Alikuwa tu ananiangalia hivi macho imekuwa red. Alikuwa anakaa mtu wa bangi. Oh no. Yes. After the joy. After the joy. Mm-hmm. So mimi niko hapo. Mm-hmm. Nalia. Yaani it reached to a point that nilikuwa nalia kwanza kusikia naenda CS. Mm. And my first child nilimpata vizuri so nilikuwa nalia kujiuliza sasa kwa nini nifanye yes mm. you see mm. so i've never been into that position mm-hmm. alafu what made me fear most mm. cause nilikuwa nasikia anga nimeshikusikia ectopic mm. pregnancy people die so they eventually told you it was ectopic yes who broke the news The, the hospital that I went in the camp the doctor the doctor after doing so many scans scans eh? yes so eventually akamwacha tu nikwambia shida iko hapa eh mhm mhm and your husband was there my husband was there was there my my mom alikuwa hapo ukipewa hizo news yes A reaction yani sasa unajua yeye hajui ectopic pregnancy ni nini oh hapo naelewa kabisa but anajua hata mimi siku siku nilikuwa tu nasikia ectopic pregnancy ni dangerous but okay. i didn't know oh yeah ectopic pregnancy na ni nini mhm yes so now admission now na i was admitted uh-huh. Nika, nika I slept in the, in that hospital that night. Mm. Nikiong nikiekwa maji and so on, mm. niko na uchungu and so on and the doctor mwenye alikuwa ananiatendea alikuwa anifanyia hiyo CS asubuhi. Mm-hmm. The following day in the morning. The following day in the morning. And have you broken the news now back at home sababu tunakumbuka uliacha mtu huyu ama mtu huyu alikaa aje sasa? Sasa 
mtoto mtoto ali sasa unajua mtoto hajui ni nini eh i will just call him na namwambia namwambia mama ko hosi tulikuwa tuna video call Oh yeah. okay. Mm. So with her she was okay. She was she was not okay. Mm. Uh, your absence of course would yeah. have made her okay. She was not okay because she kept on telling me, "Mom, mm. tutakukuja ho, tutakukuja ho, si mom." Mm. You know, I know. And, and that really used to break my heart. Mm. For 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 I used to think that nenda mm. si yes, I'll not mm. make it. Mm. 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 Okay. So uh, uh, tell me the story in between now vile umeambwa tomorrow morning unaenda session ya Cecilian mm-hmm. what was running in your mind throughout the night ama you just slept i won't lie i didn't sleep mm-hmm. i didn't sleep what at all at all the reason is to why i was not sleeping because i thought I, i was going to die yeah i was not making it mm-hmm. and nilikuwa what and the only thing that, that i was thinking about was my daughter Mm-hmm. Cuz you know being be, being crazy being being crazy as a as, as a as a daughter who was raised by a single dad I was raised by a single dad so mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. understand singe ataka mtoto wangu pia lelewe hivyo your mom had passed on yes so the mother who was coming to hospital was your step mom yes now. she's my step mom oh, but okay. she is nice yes okay yes so all through were you praying uliko nakumbuka kuomba you know in every day you should remember <laughs> eh kuna god let me tell you mm. nilikuwa nasema job 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 was job chapter 5 verse 26 nilikuwa naisema narudi nasema our father narudi what does it say job chapter 5 verse 26 that you not die young oh okay yeah nilikuwa naisema nairudia 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 because nilikuwa tunaona sita make it nasema our father naona high work narudia job job you know the declaration yeah. mm, declaration yes so hiyo ndo tu nilishinda tu nikisema wow so next morning ulikuwa unaenda cs oh next morning mm. naenda cs nishaambiwa naenda cs no the doctor mm. i found a nurse mwenye nilikuwa najua kwa hiyo hosi and she kept on telling me that mary cs yenye utafanyiwa kata kwa kapati kadogo hapo kwenye hiyo 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 fallopian tube ime rupture mm-hmm. so ananiambia nikapati tu kadogo usikuwe na stress mimi niko na stress na ni, ni stress ikanisha mhm ndio naambiwa nikapati kadogo so ukaona sio kitu kubwa as such kitu kubwa, kubwa as such mm. sasa nao ikafika ni time ya kwenda cs ile yenye nilikuwa sasa mimi started crying i now sasa room yenye niliingia nilipata ma surgeon wa media huko the theater now yeah the theater mm. and wananiuliza maswali mimi mm. sikuwa najibu nilikuwa tu nalia oh no yes walikuwa wakuuliza maswali gani walikuwa tu wananiuliza what i can't even remember <laughs> by the way but, but you were crying all through nilikuwa tu nalia mamangu mm. anaingia anawaambia anajibu on mamako walilala huko my mom slept there oh no yes mhm alilala huko that mm. night mm. my dad mm. my husband <laughs> the whole night and my 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 my, my dad's driver walilala oh, huko no. mhm now my dad cuz he was supposed to report a truck mm. alienda asubuhi so you can imagine mm. So me ni mengi adieta I can't express myself mm. my mom was there expressing on behalf of me mm. Sasa madaktari kwa namwambia mama wewe utatoka nje <laughs> <laughs> Kwa nini hapai kukujibia hafai kunijibia amba <laughs> Sasa kichwa wangu ilikuwa inagonga tu mtoto wangu Oh uh, mimi banya kwa home Oh manya kwa home uh-huh. Sasa nashindwa hawa wananipotezea tu time mm-hmm. Sasa mamangu akamwambia mama wewe utatoka wewe mama utatoka mimi niko hapo tu nalia hata now my mom went out and the nurse that nilikuwa najua mm. akakuja ndiye alikuwa na faili yangu okay akakuja aka, aka explainia kila kitu mm. kwa sababu hata siwezi kumbuka waliniuliza maswali gani mm-hmm. 
nimeambiwa nimevalishwa hizo manguo za theater mm-hmm. me I've never been to into the, that place again mm-hmm. so it was like a shocker to you vile uliingia uliona ni kama nilikuwa naona ni kama oh god <laughs> nilikuwa naona ni kama yani kitinjio as in literally me. i know yes wow so when the nurse gave your reports they started the procedure no nikawaacha to that room they told me and of change you go change mm. unikawaacha kwa hiyo room nao nimeingia kwa kichinjio yenyewe <laughs> so kichinjio. initially ulikuwa kwa reception ya kichinjio ehe sasa so, nimeingia kwa kichinjio sasa nimeingia kwa kichinjio oh, sasa no. the room that the procedure was supposed to be done mhm mimi you know the room is big The room is big, mm-hmm. very big. Mm-hmm. Now umelazwa pahali hapa, mm-hmm. umelazwa hapa. Mm-hmm. Mata zote zinakumulika mm-hmm. and that place iko na baridi. Mm-hmm. Mata zote zinakumulika hivi. Mm-hmm. Sasa and me I started crying. Nilikuwa tunaona uso ya mtoto wangu hivi. Mtoto yupi huyu mwenye kwa nyumbani. My, my daughter. Uh-huh. Nilikuwa naona sita miki. No matter what. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa tunaona nikaanza narudia job job chapter 5 but shouting but, but, in, in your cell kwa, nilikuwa naongea tu hivi nikiwa nimefunga too much <laughs> so nasema wa father naona in function mm-hmm. so nimelala kwa hiyo kitanda nika nika nikashindwa now the, the, na, nasikia wakiambiana mweke dawa mweke dawa sasa anini and they started calling me Jerry mm-hmm. Jerry sijui nini 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 mm-hmm. naambia nika sirika mm-hmm. Kwa nini mnanikufisha kwa nini mnanikufisha mwili mzima? Mm-hmm. Kwa nini mnataka kunikufisha mwili mzima? Mm-hmm. And I'm crying. Thank God. Kwa sababu I was stressed. Mm-hmm. Thank God pressure ikupanda. Oh yeah. And you know ikipanda it is very bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. nili nili yani hiyo that procedure ya kukufishwa because mm. nilikuwa nimeniniwa mwili mzima mm. nilikufishwa tu nikilianga machozi nikisemanga tu kwa nini mnanikufisha mwili mzima kwa nini mni were you on bed then ulikuwa yes. juu uliambiwa uende ulale uka change na ukaenda kwa kichana eh, ukalala nimelala kwa like Yesu venye alikuwa amenini like this you know <laughs> I know. You know. So yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, so, so you you <laughs> think it going to happen. Eh, yeah, na na piga kelele and the other Jerry is doing it. Yaani nilikuwa tu naona wamenikasirisha kabisa kabisa oh, no. and I was so sure. Mm. Nilikuwa naomba but nilikuanga sure sitaamka. Mm. You wanted this other one anesthesia ya nusu. The one they call have you kufishwa ha. Yes. Oh but now they opted the whole one. Yeah? No the, the the one that you kufishwa the the whole body mm. it is very dangerous. <laughs> you never cause a coma. You don't so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't so. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. me me nilikufishwa hivyo nikilianga hapo mm. sikujua sasa what happened. Oh no. Mm. Wow. <laughs> We're going to our next break. Don't go anywhere. I will be back. I know. <laughs> Welcome back. We are glad that you're still with us. Now we are now at the point she went for surgery after the anesthesia. How did she wake up like how was the procedure successful? Let's know. Was it successful? Ama how did you what happened after we kukufishwa wote? You know. So ni mimi venye watu walikuwa wananiambia wenye walikuwa wamekuja kuniona. Mhm. I didn't I didn't wake up at the right time nili nili extend what do you mean right time you know kwa mm. surgery kuna mm. kwanga umesetiwa time mm-hmm. like i was supposed to kuamka like saa saa sa 9 mm. nikaamka 5 na uko 5 2 6. hours later yes uh-huh and what when you come wamekuja kuniona they were they, they were the ones telling me that zile vitu zote zilikuwa zina happen mhm walikuwa naenda wanauliza naamka saa ngapi my husband was there macho zilikuwa zina red mhm i don't know ni kulia ni stress my mom was there anashughulika my friends were there wanashughulika what is happening 
but sasa mimi penye niliji nili life after death eh kuamuka mm. <laughs> mimi kujisikia uh-huh. i just cried i cried like one hour si kwa what reason si kwa na mimi nimeamka oh you thought you dying yes mm. sasa and and nilikuwa unajua you can't you can't talk at that time i was just waving when you nilikuwa naona as you cry ukilio na wave tu kilia wenye wamekuja tu kuniona nilikuwa tu na wave tu and do ulimi ni mzito i can't i can't talk mm-hmm. so nilikuwa tu nalia siku anaamini nimeamka i didn't believe that ni mimi naona hii mwangaza yenye tunaona mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. i cried for one hour oh no and at that time ni kasema i want to see my mom i want to see my husband i want to no, see no when you started talking yeah mm-hmm. they came mm-hmm. and at that night i said i want to see my daughter mm-hmm. uh, seeing my daughter at uh, night yeah now tulikuwa mm-hmm. tuna video call mm-hmm. and i just cried cuz this is my happiness and yeah, i'm seeing my daughter this is my happiness this mm-hmm. is what i have been praying god to you need to aniyeke to alive for the sake of my daughter yeah sure cuz mm-hmm. my daughter my husband can marry mm-hmm. he can marry mm-hmm. but my daughter what about my daughter yeah if you die if i die mm-hmm. so nilikuwa tu na shukuru i don't i don't see it in a semati bwanangu ati angefurahia because he was stressed he was stressed i know he was and that's the time that i realized that mm. my husband he loves me so much sita sema ati anaringa na but nili niliongezea respect and the love that i have for him from that time because he was so stressed even my friends would tell me that alikuwa tu anashinda hapo akizungura anaenda anakaa kwa nyasi because he was he all alone He was not alone my mm. parents were there but as in his friends he was he was alone he was alone at that time i know my friends mm-hmm. his family mm-hmm. his family was there mm-hmm. his mother mm-hmm. and my family and friends was were there mm-hmm. but ni hiyo time that's the time that i realized he loves me so much mm-hmm. and ni kuongezea respect yenye nilikuanga nayo kwake okay. okay. mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. So nimeamka mm, uka video chat na mtoto nika hii. video chat na mtoto mm. nika tukaongea vizuri and mm. i cry i was crying kwa sababu mm. imagine nimeamka god amenipatia chance ya kuona mtoto wangu i know tena mm. nilikuwa tu furaha you see mm. so nilikuwa sikuwa nalia kwa sababu because of sadness i was mm. happy mm. nilikuwa tears of joy i, I was know usio no sasa utaanza kusikia uchungu but mm. i was only crying for happiness because mm. i've got an inability a chance in here okay so no what did the doctors explain to you later did they come to explain yes mm-hmm. they told me no mm. me 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 when you want kuni kuni usio unajua lazima wa ku clean up the the mm. kidonda mm. no nikauliza mbona mlinikata the like mlikuwa mnatoa mtoto mm and mlikuwa mmeniambia mnafaa kukata nilikuwa nimeambiwa ni ako kanini ako eh kwa falopi anti mm. bitolewe they told me mm. that nilikuwa nime bleed one liter of blood kwa uterus yangu oh no na lazima wange wangenifanyia hiyo cs ndio wa nini wa, wa clean up my uterus mm-hmm. cuz it was bad mm-hmm. the doctor the doctor told me mm. for sure you are a living testimony kwa sababu a lot of people who go through this they don't make it mm-hmm. they don't make it mm-hmm. and the blood ilikuwa imeanza to turn color to what color ilikuwa unajua have you ever seen blood yenye imeka inaanga brownish blackish yes is all colors you know mm-hmm. ju ilikuwa imeka mm-hmm. yes Oh no. Then and that's the the reason for the pain. And and that's the reason for the pain. Mm, okay. So after that tell us what happened. After 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 the explanation medication. The explanation. Did no, you stay for long in the hospital? No, I I just stayed for three days. Mhm. And then three to four days and then I was discharged. You were discharged. Yes. Okay. And I went home. Mm-hmm. 
and ni hapo ndipo nilikuwa najua things are not the same again kwa sababu at that time you know siku siku pata mtoto wangu wa kwanza na CS nimepata na CS this time around and i can't walk yeah yeah you know mm. the, the the medication that you are give you are given iko na effect zake mm. mm. headache mm. juu nini tonsils Mm-hmm. So training me by the way I suffered you suffered mm-hmm. so after how long are you okay now like after the old ama the 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 feelings the feelings the both head, both mm-hmm. uh, I, i guess right now cuz it's been like six months six mm-hmm. months to seven months mm-hmm. so i even don't ask ya like na nasikia ni kopua pua at least you can talk about it mm-hmm. what about the pain the pain it's no longer there it's no longer there but you know see yes, the pain ikwangeti mm. naishanga automatically yeah mm. ni time ukiguza unasikia uchungu okay mm. so now you're okay very much okay very much okay yeah? okay we are coming back and she's going to tell us uh, something like what can she tell someone who's going through that someone going through that how she can encourage someone in that and uh, at least give a parting shot so Stay tuned. Welcome back to the last part of the show. Now she's going to tell us about her part in short and what advice she can give to you out there, you who is watching going through something like that, you who has someone going through something like that. At least with her story you've learned and I know she will have an encouraging word for you. So Mary, please give someone some advice and a cut in short. The the advice that I give to someone mm-hmm. if you're pregnant mm-hmm. if you ukijua tu uko na ball make sure you go to the hospital. Yeah. Even if it is two weeks, mm-hmm. one month mm-hmm. Just go to the hospital because even the doctor told me mm. at this time mm. I, when I realized that I'm pregnant again I must go to the hospital do some scan to know if the baby is in the right place so I would advise someone if you are pregnant please go do scan and so on to to to, to know if your baby is in the right place mm-hmm. and um, The second thing that the 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 second thing that I would wish to tell someone is that there is God in heaven. Wow. There is God in heaven because mm-hmm. I think I think God, I, I don't even think God saved me. Yes, God did. It was not by my 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 power, it was not by my own thinking. Yeah. If cause if ni mimi singe mm. jisave mm. if it is my husband he couldn't have said me sure. if it is my daughter he couldn't if it is my my child mm. or my family they mm. couldn't have saved me but god did it for me yeah so i'll surely be i'll forever be gla- grateful to god mm-hmm. for saving my life wow i would be dead by now but god said hey hey mm. lazima niishi wow mm. that's nice anything else Just glory to God. <laughs> glory to God. What's your testimony? Anytime, anytime, any day, glory to God. Wow. And live to serve him cuz mm-hmm. utakuwa tu unaona matunda yake cuz the the state that I was in hata mm-hmm. kama ni wewe unajua it is very dangerous yes, but very. God did, did it for me. So mm-hmm. glory to God mm-hmm. and I will forever be grateful to God. Okay. Wow. I think we've come to the end of the show. So whoever is going through such an issue or such a story there's a god in heaven as she says and the same god who healed her is the same god who can heal you who can take you through all that and who can give you a story to tell and encourage someone so that's the end we're glad that you are with us and until next time I'm your host Jenshiko Shalom subscribe view share and of course you'll be glad to view your comments god bless you